students welcome to next class today we will go for the last concept of the unit 4 that is the laser what is this laser this is nothing but light amplification amplification okay light amplification due to stimulated due to stimulated emission radiation okay so this is what you have to keep in the mind so what is laser full form light amplification amplified due to stimulated emission radiation due to stimulated emission radiation this is what about the uh, uh, of the laser so if you see the uh, laser light okay so you are having some like this and it is uh, uh, coming in a single wavelength like this like this okay and if you see the normal uh, light here so it is going to go in this way like this okay so this is your normal okay this is your normal light and this is your laser light okay where it is traveling in a single direction like this okay so what we can see here normal light so it is a polychromatic no polychromatic polychromatic okay then it is a non coherent non coherent okay non directional non directional non directional that is uh, no collimated we say no scattering we are going to see no collimated no collimated okay and have the low intensity and have the low intensity now if you see this laser so it is totally quite opposite of this properties it is polychromatic this is monochromatic single wavelength monochromatic okay then uh, this is coherent in nature very fast single wavelength then it is having directional this is non-directional this is directional that is collimated we call it here this word we use collimated non that is uh, there is a minimal divergence collimated means what here like this it is a minimum divergence will be there they go in a straight line parallel line and it has high uh, high intensity they have the high intensity okay and this is what about the difference between normal and the laser light now if you see the main important property of this laser is monochromaticity chromaticity okay the next one is your directionality directionality okay and third is your intensity intensity and fourth is your coherence Coher runs okay this is what they mean chromaticity single wavelength directionality pass travel in the same direction intensity very high and coherence means uh, um, uh, is stimulated like okay so in one point this is how uh, we can see and because of uh, this we can see that the laser okay can be used uh, uh, in a laser drilling machine laser drilling we are using then we are using show laser show you can see in parties and all the laser shows okay there also the lasers uh, is been used and then uh, uh, laser cutting i see uh, cutting laser cutting it is been used okay to remove unwanted hair to remove unwanted hair okay so this also laser is uh, laser is uh, used eye surgery also nowadays eye surgery they are using kidney stones to remove laser technique are used okay so like this okay and even nowadays printers laser printer is used laser printer is there like this or nowadays barcode reader is there bar code reader so these all things uh, uh, where the laser uh, technique is used okay and how it uh, is uh, how it has come into the uh, science scientific field here uh, from uh, like history i can say in 1900 okay this is uh, this is how max planck okay this is important to know okay, max uh, planck he suggested that the light consists of tiny packets tiny packets okay he suggested that uh, light consists of tiny uh, tiny packets okay and uh, uh, packets of energy and, and he called it as a photons you know that okay in physics he called it as a photons having uh, the energy e is equal to h nu okay so that is important so in 1970 einstein so it processed 1900 and 1970 so einstein gave the concept of stimulated emission he gave the concept of uh, stimulated emission okay he gave the concept of uh, stimulated emission this is here okay and later professor c h towns later professor c h towns t o w n e s okay he 
invented this measure okay what is this uh, measure it is microwave pm stands for microwave okay microwave then amplified by stimulated emission radiation so this was okay and later dr t h maiman t h m a i m e m maiman okay dr t h maiman so in uh, 1960 okay so maiman fabricated first laser first laser so maiman uh, in 1960 they he formulated the first uh, laser that is uh, ruby laser okay so ruby laser so this is how uh, you can see uh, that uh, uh, okay i will show this uh, here only it's not so much clear here so very simple you can see so there is a tube here like this okay and like this okay where this is a ruby tube is there and you can see some mirror is there here like this okay and here there is complete silvered mirror here complete silvered mirror here and this is your partial silvered mirror partial silvered mirror will be there and this is been coiled like this okay and you can see that this is been connected to power okay this is coiling is there and uh, later on you can see there is a cooling here cooling okay so this is cooled here like this okay this is a one uh, simple form of the ruby uh, laser here and this is your flashlight flashlight coil okay this will pump a flash light here and this is your ruby cylinder inside what is this this is your ruby cylinder this is your ruby cylinder inside okay and uh, this one is your q switch okay use this one and this is your partial silvered mirror this one and this is q switch and after this you can see there is a beam of uh, radiation comes so this is your laser radiation comes here like this okay from here like this very sharp it is coming in the single wavelength okay so this is how i can say the uh, small uh, uh, the uh, uh, instrumental part of the uh, ruby laser which was been formatted by the th maiman in 1960 okay so this is how now if you see this uh, uh, red light okay so this uh, solid structure this is solid state st uh, uh, laser here solid state laser and which is having around uh, 690 around uh, uh, red light okay which is use the uh, red light okay around 690 nanometers like this okay and uh, there are some other lasers so helium uh, neon laser is there so here the helium and neon uh, mixture of gas is been used okay so that's what i said the main thing is what if i take uh, this ordinary so it is going to get the light in this way like this all the ways okay scale like this and in laser is uh, what so you are going to get this like this very sharp uh, radiation like this okay and that's why they are having high energy this is the difference between this normal bulb and the laser tube that's why we are using this in the powerpoint presentation and all we are using this okay so this is how it works and uh, the main thing here uh, and even there is carbon dioxide uh, laser is there and uh, it main uh, principle of this is uh, it uh, works in three concept here that is your stimulated absorption stimulated absorption then spontaneous emission spontaneous emission and uh, stimulated emission stimulated emission spontaneous emission and stimulated emission okay this thing you have to uh, th uh, this thing the principle here the first thing was stimulated absorption then spontaneous emission and stimulated emission okay if this three occurs this uh, laser beam is going to come out okay now one by one we'll see what is the stimulated absorption stimulated absorption what is the stimulated absorption so very simple because in the atom you know there is a nucleus and uh, there are uh, electrons here two and here uh, uh, eight electrons like that and when this is been uh, been hit by the uh, uh, by the radiation here what happens this go to the higher energy level okay so here what we give h new is equal to e one min uh, e two minus e one e two minus e one difference we go we are going to uh, give it here okay so this is before absorption and after absorption it goes to higher energy level okay so this is how uh, you have to uh, see so this uh, this we call it as a uh, stimulated uh, absorption here okay so where you can see that uh, this is your uh, e1 energy and this is your e2 energy okay so <clears throat> and this is an h new when you pa when you pass this h new what will happen here so this is your 
electron or atom here so before absorption okay so what will happen here so this will be here atom and after absorption what will happen so you get this electron excited here okay and you are going to get here what h nu is emitted so h nu is emitted here when it comes uh, down here so this is your e2 and this is your e1 okay so this is what what will happen here so a will take this h nu and go to excited state this is what okay where this a is nothing but we can take it as a atom in ground state atom in ground state and a star is nothing excited state atom in the excited state like this a star okay here this is a star and this is a okay so here it is a so a will uh, a will uh, take this uh, radiation get absorbed and go to the higher energy level that is a, a this one okay this is how happens here and this process of uh, emission okay uh, where h nu uh, that we know h nu is equal to e2 minus uh, uh, e2 minus e1 okay e2 minus e1 so this is the process happens here okay and uh, next one is what uh, spontaneous very simple it is that's what it is called as a stimulated absorption stimulation okay so it will uh, you uh, you are not uh, you are not giving some external uh, external uh, something uh, uh, forcefully here it is stimulating okay automatically it is stimulated and gets uh, to higher energy level and uh, and it emits some light so this is what okay so you are not um, here applying some force here automatically stimulates uh, stimulation is going to uh, is going to seen here the next one is what here now stimulated emission absorption over now stimulated emission okay so here the process of emission here okay of the photons by you can see the uh, 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 some external without any external yeah, that is the main without an external agency uh, the spontaneous emission is going to takes place that is very much important that means what here a star whenever it is uh, coming down here so what will happen here it will come and it will release some emit some radiation like this okay so, and this happens without any external agency so we are not doing anything external agency that's why it is called uh, uh, spontaneous okay spontaneous like this we uh, we use the word here okay and stimulation means what here so again same thing here excited will be there and this will uh, this will absorb some of the uh, radiations and it will come to ground state again and it will act what two times here this is stimulated see so one h nu was there here absorption now it has become stimulated means 2 h nu see here so that means your incident radiation as well as emitted radiation like this okay so this is your incident radiation and this is your emitted radiation at a time it will that's why we call it as a stimulated radiation like this okay so this is your stimulated okay and uh, you know uh, this happens uh, uh, as uh, the uh, suggested by the Einstein Okay, suggested by Einstein in 1917 so in 1970 what he says an atom in the excited state e2 can also make the transition to lower state okay so in the excited state e2 can also make the transition to lower state e1 okay to lower state uh, yeah, lower state uh, lower energy state e1 okay when uh, uh, triggered by the photon of uh, energy h nu when triggered by the photon of energy h nu and during this transition emission will uh, of the second photon also occurs here like this h nu and one more you can see again the uh, photon as well as the uh, excited uh, excited photon okay uh, h nu uh, incident photon h nu and excited photon h nu is going to seen here okay that is stimulated so you are going to see the incident photon as well as excited emitted photon you are going to see of same frequency same di uh, same direction and same phase okay as that of the incident photon so both have same phase same direction frame frequency same energy and that's why that we call it as a stimulation we call it as a stimulation so this is what happened here okay now if you see the laser it is made uh, the components main thing if you see the components components of laser okay if you see the components of laser so three important layer here that is one is active medium then second one pumping source pumping source and third one resonator activity resonating activity we say okay or cavity resonance cavity we say activity or cavity we say okay if you see the flow diagram here so this is your uh, active medium first one active medium okay and here that is uh, we are applying the energy source here here also we are applying the energy energy source here and this is a mirror here that is your silvered mirror partially uh, this one and fully uh, made reflected this is totally reflected totally reflected mirror 
and this is partially reflected mirror okay so this is how and uh, this here both these are connected with the resonating cavity resonance cavity this is important okay this mirror okay so this both are connected to the resonance cavity so this is a flow diagram here okay of the, uh, of this now we will learn one by one here of this uh, the components here the uh, if you see uh, now the main thing comes here is population inversion population inversion what is this population inversion this uh, this is important usually in normally thermodynamic equilibrium so what happens here if you take this uh, uh, two level e1 and e2 so what will happen here so this is n1 and n2 number of electrons if uh, we see here so always in normal so usually the number of electrons in ground state is more than the excited state okay this is the electrons okay in ground state is more than the excited state okay so population of electrons in ground state is more than the excited state okay? so this is not good for laser not good for laser okay so in the laser what should be the condition here if uh, this is what n1 is greater than n2 here okay but here what happens now here ele electrons are more here say like this okay so this is your e2 and this is your e1 only two electrons like this okay so this is your n1 and this is your n2 see here so here n1 is less than n2 n2 is more in okay this is a condition of a laser so where the number of electrons in the excited state is more okay this is what the increase uh, that is it is reversed that's why it's called the population inversion actually it will be here actually but you are inverted it inverted it and made this population to go here increase here okay so this is what where n2 uh, n2 is greater than n1 okay so this is of the laser action this is important for the laser action and the electrons will not stay much here it is 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds then they come here down and release energy like this okay so this is further so this is what the main uh, you can see the uh, what you say the uh, population inversion and this population inversion uh, is usually helped by the optical pumping uh, usually okay so this uh, uh, electrons from here to here it is made by the optical pumping optical pumping this is important okay so it is different and it depends optical pumping on the active material it depends on the active material important okay that means for example you have seen that if it is solid state ruby so what we are what we are using here we are using optical pumping we are using here optical pumping here usually okay that is what we are doing here and in uh, helium and uh, neon is there helium neon laser so what we are using in helium neon it is electric pumping we are using electric uh, pumping so like this uh, this uh, this uh, this pumping helps for the uh, population inversion here and it depends on the active material okay like in solid state we are using optical pumping ruby in helium neon we are using electrical pumping and there is a uh, uh, excimer uh, laser is there excimer laser where we are using chemical pumping chemical pumping is used okay like this so this is how uh, it depends on optical pumping electrical pumping chemical pumping so it is done uh, to increase the population inversion so increase the population here on the excited state so okay population inversion and this active medium whatever we are you uh, we are used here active medium okay in the laser this active medium uh, is a material in which laser action takes place here okay laser action takes place takes a place where in active medium this is important in active uh, medium okay uh, and this is how uh, for example uh, in uh, in the ruby okay so ruby uh, in the ruby uh, this one laser uh, the solid okay we are taking as a ruby rod here that is what ruby rod okay active material uh, in the ruby laser and uh, uh, and in some cases we may take gases mixture of gases like helium and neon as i said so these all are active materials okay uh, in some in some cases when we use the semiconductors that also is been used okay but in this active material what will be the condition here the number of electrons will be more at the ground state and the excited state will be less here okay so that means your n1 is greater than n2 so this is a condition of a, uh, electron condition of uh, in a active medium okay so this is what and then it is pumping is done that is uh, you are uh, like this active metal is been like this it has been coiled here okay optical pumping then the pumping when it is done what will happen it will be reversed so the electrons from down will come up okay so this is what uh, what we are going to see so population inversion is going to take place uh, when you supply the energy outside energy okay so when you supply the outside energy uh, with uh, then this population inversion is going to 
takes place okay and the uh, and the electrons which are uh, now populated into the uh, higher energy so they remain for how many seconds very less few seconds and then they emit back and come back and you can see they multiply and they give the different uh, emitted light here okay so this is what uh, the action of the uh, the laser takes place here now if you see here uh, when this uh, emitted photon okay so whatever they emitted now here uh, when they come here down okay whatever this is more electrons here now population inversion has taken place and when it comes down it emits some uh, uh, photons okay and this collide with the electron okay in uh, in the uh, in the excited state okay so here they collide with the photon in the excited state and then photon will uh, what happens here they force the electrons now again when it comes here they force these electrons okay to uh, fall back again they force the electrons to uh, fall back to the ground state okay as a result you can see here electrons again release the energy so it continuous energy is going to be released okay in the form of photons and that we call it stimulated emission okay as this process uh, produce millions of photons like this we can see in this process we are going to produce millions of photons very important millions of photons is produced okay uh, by the stimulation process by the stimulation process uh, process okay and uh, and these millions of photons they have the same frequency they have the same uh, phase and the same wavelength okay and that's why uh, they are very very strong here so laser uh, uh, laser will be formed here okay and last one is pumping source okay so what is this pumping source pumping source okay so here uh, uh, in the pumping source n2 will be greater than n1 is achieved here and uh, it depends uh, on the nature of the active material and uh, example i said you so optical pumping and everything and last one is your optical resonator third one okay so optical resonator last part and uh, this is a key component of the laser this is a key component of laser okay this is a key component of laser so just now i showed uh, where it is this one okay this one obtaining which is uh, connected to this uh, mirror here this is a key component of the uh, key component where uh, uh, the stimulation emission okay so is uh, uh, seen here they consist of a pair of mirror here it's like the silver mirror okay so what happens here uh, when uh, the electrons come down they emit okay and they emit and here is a mirror is partially mirror this is okay like the small till this will be there and here emitted light will come here they come like this and they reflect back here okay and yes totally reflected they come back and when they come back it will uh, it will uh, uh, initiate these electrons also to come to the ground state see okay when it come back the electrons this photon will initiate these electrons also to fall back to the ground state and totally what happens again the uh, uh, hnu is emitted here it hits see to this mirror image which is partially this one again come back here and hit this here mirror image which is totally reflected and when it hits hits here again it is reflected back like this all emissions are reflected back here and when it comes here and finally it is goes into the form of what very 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 strong energy uh, single wavelength uh, this comes here okay so this is how the uh, resonance cavity works between these two mirror so this is how the ruby structure is made okay i think uh, this is uh, uh, more than uh, sufficient here so <clears throat> here we completed the uh, exact unit 4 i think okay so unit 4 this was the last uh, concept of the laser so uh, right from the history we learned today okay so history we learned then we learned the basics of lasers basic of lasers then components of lasers components of lasers and uh, uh, and what is that your ruby laser ruby laser uh, what uh, this one uh, what is that uh, instrumentation okay so i think uh, this is more than sufficient okay for the knowledge purpose of the laser if anything extra we if i get from this uh, this one again we will go for the last video uh, and i think uh, that will complete your 100 percent syllabus okay if anything is left uh, you can uh, tell me uh, in the uh, in the uh, what you say uh, zoom meeting or you can message me okay i think this is the last concept one two i think some uh, is left here in the laser also um, I will see that. I will check it, which is uh, which may be the impo very important for you uh, in the examination point of view. And something from the magnetic property, maybe I will just see that. So I think uh, another one video, okay, last video, another one last video. If I do, I I will uh, cover this uh, whatever is left from the fourth uh, uh, unit, and definitely that will be your hundred percent syllabus covered. Okay, thank you.